As people continue to flee Ukraine, many are taking their pets with them. And there are countless volunteers stepping up to make that possible, from the paperwork to making sure the animals are healthy. Connor McHugh in tonight. And Connor, you met a man from Fort Collins who set up a vet clinic just outside the Ukrainian border. Yeah, Jim, Dr. John Geller runs the Street Dog Coalition. That's a nonprofit that provides veterinary care to the pets of those experiencing homelessness or at risk of it. Recently, he realized millions of Ukrainian refugees now fit that description, too, and he spent 11 days helping them and their pets. Where's the kitty at? At Dr. John Geller's weekly clinics, the patients come in all shapes and sizes. It's okay, kitty. Here, there's no judgment and no need for payment. It's ruptured and dried up since. Just a goal to provide care for any pet in need. This is called street medicine. We have to use our, our hands and our brains um, and talking to people to get information about what's going on with their pets. For seven years, Geller's nonprofit has been focused stateside. But last month, the images out of Ukraine compelled him. It's women and children and their suitcases and their Dragging their pets. Soon, he was thousands of miles away, setting up a vet clinic along the Romanian side of the Ukraine border. These pets are, are for many people, even providing a purpose. They're certainly providing companionship, even, even in some cases, maybe protection. For 11 days, Geller and vets from around the world dewormed, chipped, and vaccinated refugee pets before helping secure pet passports. The group also treated abandoned animals and even people. The pets were in pretty healthy and the people were pretty healthy also. While far from a war zone, he saw both fear and resilience. This is a matter. Now back home, he'll gladly make that leap of faith again. If things intensify and, and the refugee, there could be a million refugees heading that way. Yes, I would welcome the opportunity to go back. Geller says the coalition's work in Europe is ongoing and they have multiple vets scheduled throughout the month. You can donate to the effort mm -hmm. on the nonprofit's website. Such an impressive group. Really is. Yeah, Jim. Counter, thanks.